I bought something and I don't know what I bought, so let's find out. Oh, I bought a core. And I was there saying I did not buy any frozen thing. So this is a core and it's still cold. So you can imagine, I don't know when they shipped it, but it's still cold. Guys, can you believe that you can actually buy African food online without going into the shop, without standing on any queues, without having any kind of sweat, stress, wahala, any kind of thing? I am here to tell you that the food can get delivered to your front door. Yes, I'm not joking with you. Anytime I tell people about this, they're always like, you're lying, you're lying. And guess what? A lot of my friends who are happy to um, buy at the same time I'm buying, we just share delivery costs and it just saves time. I'm not here to advertise anybody's business. I'm just going to show you an example of a typical store that I would use to shop. And um, there are a lot of them out there now. I think everybody's going towards the global age. Well, stick with me if you want to see how I do it, if you want to see how the food is, um, you know, how it comes through the post, how it gets to my friends door how i unbox and how i eat it get ready for this video this is for you modern day african <laughs> My name is Osase. I am a content creator based in the United Kingdom. I'm here to tell you all the good hacks of our food, where to find things, where to get good deals and bargains here in the United Kingdom. And I hope that I inspire you to be the best version of yourself that you possibly can be in this season of life that you find yourself. Well, keep on watching. If you do love this sort of content, do not hesitate to click that subscribe button. Do not forget to share with your friends. It is free of charge. It doesn't cost you any money to click on the subscribe button. It helps me. It helps my family. Yeah. Well, guys, take care. Sometimes in the UK, it's too cold. You're not really interested in just going into any shop to go and be buying anything, You're walking up and down, and then some of the cashiers will be taking their time. You can take Nigerians out of Nigeria, but you cannot take the Nigeria out of there. You literally have... You'll be sitting when in a regular British shop, they'll just go poop, 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 poop. African shop, they can be wasting your time. You'll be standing on queue, they'll be using you to be GC. You know, the usual typical Nigerian, like, yeah, it's too much, right? So, um, as you can see, there are different categories um, of food. Can I just say that this is the one I use? It's not sponsored or anything, but there are a couple of others, you know, there's Wussy Wussy, I've heard about, there is um. Um, Oja, I've heard about. I've heard about a few anyway. I think maybe Afro Grocers or something. There are a few of them online. So, um, as you can see, there are different categories hair and beauty, flower and grains. You can already see that there's meat. You can see all the types of meat and the prices already. So, we don't even you don't need to go far. I will tell you the amount. If, say, let me select maybe, let me go to goat meat now. Goat meat. If I select goat meat, it will give me the quantity. Can you see? So I can choose a size. If I'm buying one kg, there's two kg, there's five kg, ten kg, up to twenty kg of or a full goat. So if I buy one kg and I add that to cut, that's seven pounds. If I add two kg to to the cut, um, so that's just me added it to the cut. I can continue shopping. If I add two kg, the price changes. Can you see to fifteen pounds eighty nine? If I add a full goat, the price will change to 158 pounds for a 49 pence for a full goat so you can see but i'm not buying meat because um, i'm just going to go to the halal store to go and buy meat um they do all those lamb and all those things there so this time around i will not buy this meat for the purpose of this video but it's fine um as soon as my food comes i'm also going to show you what it looks like the delivery how they packaged it it's not coming from my city it's coming from another place Right, so I want to buy, uh, I think I heard that there's a Agbalomo in season. So let me go to fruits, see whether there's any agbalo. Yes, oh, there's fresh mango, there's plant. Oh, Ube is out of stock. I really enjoy that Ube. There's, co there's cola nuts. So can you see, there's literally almost everything. Ah, Agbalomo is out of season. Look at it. It's here. This one. It was one pound ninety nine for three, so you can do the math yourself. Two pounds for three agbalumo that you can get in Nigeria. But again, I mean, it, it does not help anybody to come and start doing conversion and start checking how much it would have cost in Nigeria. We are not in Nigeria; we are abroad, so this is the price abroad. We need, we need to live with it, or, let, or else we start looking for how to ship things in. I want to get um, 
I want to get um let me just type so you can actually search I want to get a uh, pound yam pound yam for instance I think Olala is out of stock it should be doing their own now let me just check for yam so it's actually very very like self explanatory they have their own here which i quite like so i'm going to buy uh i'm going to buy the bigger one this time around because everybody's now eating it see all out at 89 pounds for what now please i'll buy their own eh? 11 pounds i think that is better how many kg is this last item let me quickly buy it to this three kg i'm going to add it to my basket i'm going to pay for it Add to basket, that's fine. So I've just added that. What else did I want to buy? I want to buy, I can buy plantain in the shop here. So, but I just want to show you that it's plantain here. To get this, I wanted to get, um, is there any fish, dry fish? Any panla? Fish tea soup, no. You know what, it's better off on a desktop. When you're on a desktop, uh, you can see the things a lot better if I go to the food the cooked food section now for instance Let me show you there is all sorts of cooked ready meals. Can you see if you don't even want to cook there is asun There is a jollof rice meat pie fried rice suya puff puff <laughs> literally three pages of food all your soups are for real So it's actually quite cool and convenient um, But again today, I'm not buying that so um i've already cooked my soups so i was looking for um let me go to ah do i want to get goldie moon like this let me get goldie moon goldie moon i'm just going to type it in so that i don't goldie moon i'm also going to get a um, milu okay i'll get one goldie moon i'll get milu i still have palm oil but i think it's going to finish soon um okay add to cut again for the purpose of this video i'll not be buying yam i'll buy yam in the shop here because i'm going the place i'm buying meat is one of the indian shops so they do halal meat today i mean i'm not forced whether it's halal or not halal i'm not muslim but um i actually quite like the price there so um i'll just get the yam there but again i've bought things like yam plantain chips all sorts of snacks and food from here so i'm very very satisfied with it it's not an issue for me they have a gege bread here as well i said i was going to buy milk and milu let me buy needle needle milk ah, almost is expensive these people are wicked five pounds for needle chai 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 400 grams Hi. Oh no, it's not easy. Spices and seasonings. Oh, rice. Let me check for rice. There's any better rice here that I can. Uh... They have a father rice. They have all sorts of things. So, uh, again, like I said, they deliver straight to your door. Straight to your door. You don't need to go anywhere. I still have a mala, so I'm not going to to bother myself. Um, huh. I already came here, but it's actually very, very organized. I like the the way the website is. It's very easy to let me check the reduction. Maybe they are doing any sale. Okay, we said custard is on sale. Mm. And flour on sale. Let me see anything else that is of benefit to me. Ah, I'm also very happy. This sensation chips is 88p <laughs> so they also sell like english things as well they sell baby food choco milo uh, boga peanuts if you know that from nigeria they sell that frozen ah i want fish <laughs> mm. 
Ah, echo. I think I'll buy echo. Let me buy some echo. I'll buy four. Yes. I'll use it to eat a four or. Yes, it has been added to my cart. So, so far, can you see my cart? 30 pounds already. Four echo and one um, pound do yam. Continue shopping. So, it, it is, you know, for the convenience is good, but. And for the prices, you will see a similar price in ah Ijebu Gari, I must buy. I must buy. You will see a similar price, let me not lie, in the African shops here. They are not they're not as you know they're not extremely cheap. Let's just see if we are comparing to, to Nigeria. But in comparison to maybe the Indian shops, it's similar price. Indian shops they are also doing very well. Can you see Ugi, Ugi see? That's my goal again. was very good. I wanted to get a Jebu Gari. Have I gotten that? No, I've not. There's a goosey here. It's out of stock. Please let me get it. Hey, plantain flour. Let me get my uh, farina. Is if you want to do starch, you know, like my Edo people, starch and banga. I want to see suya plantain chips. Is there? I want to get a Jebu Gari. This 2.5 kg. Chai, chai, chai. We eat Gary a lot in this our house. Oh. Okay, I'll just get this one. Add to cut. It's actually quite, it's a reasonable size. It can last us for about a month. So, it's quite good. So, again, this is my basket. There's no Agbalumo. I would have added that in. Let me just make sure that there's nothing else that I need. Um, Let me see what they put in drinks. In drinks, there will be malt and all these things. Let me see how much the malt is. Can of malt. Sorry, um packet of malt. I think they sell 24. Pack of six silver malt. No, I think in in, in, in comparison to the, to the shop, sometimes they do sale of malt in Tesco and um, Asda. And it comes about three pounds something. Here I can see it's like five pounds. So like some things are actually very cheap. Some things are actually quite reasonably priced. The same price you get at your front door. Sorry, in the next door shop. And you don't want to just enter the car, use fuel. You don't want to go and be standing inside queue. You know, you just want... And it gets delivered to your front door within a couple of days, maybe two days. You know, so when these ones come, I'll show you. I'm actually trying. I want to see if I can get something frozen so you can also see how they pack the frozen thing. Uh, let me see. Mm. Fresh. Anytime I go to the, the Indian shop to go and buy rice, I'm always confused. <laughs> so I want to see whether I can see better rice here. <laughs> ah, this suya. <laughs> Let me buy it too. Hey, they have box of Indomie. I want to buy. See Indomie pepper soup. Hey, these guys. They says see all oh, the Indomie is out of stock. Let me buy this one. Ten pounds. These people are very wicked. Noise you. Okay, so there's that one. How much is this Nigerian one? There are two types. It's the same price. One is a... Uh, oh, I'll buy in the meat tables, Joe. What is the difference? All of them are all 40, 40, 40. Inside the pack, so... Okay, again, this is my total price. I've not even gotten to the shipping price yet. The Lord is in control. <laughs> they have a tiger nut here as well. I don't. I'm just trying not to buy anything unnecessary, so that your girl can. Uh, Ashley is really really good. Okay, I'll buy this one. Yes, I'll buy this Ashley. This rice, rice finishes quick here. This is five kg. It's going to finish, but no wala. I'll still put it. Ah, it's not easy. How much is it? Is in that Indian shop? It will be a similar price since it's Ashley. High as it will, no, it will be a similar price. Let me just put it inside my bag. I still do not see anything that is uh, frozen here for you people. You know what? The frozen things is fine. Even if I don't get frozen, they, all they just do eh, is they just package it in like an ice pack and stuff. And then when you bring it out, like your, your, you know, you think it's still nice and cold. There are chilled packs there, you know. So it's, it's quite nice. Anyway, let's get into my basket. This is all I'm buying for today. Um, and yeah, that has saved me because so I have my Gary. I have Goodie Mon for the kids. I have Echo. I have um, 
uh, pound do yam i actually quite like the own it tastes a bit authentic a bit initially i was not sure about it but i like the own especially when all last day doing anyhow i think if you watch my live when i was trying to i was making three soups i was complaining about one rubbish pound that i bought in one indian shop these things you just have to shop around you don't really know but yeah guys this is my total bill this is the shipping cost i'm going to pay just proceed to check out and you just pay and um yo i think my account should already be open here so they should already know my things um sign in like i'll sign in i'll put in my details and then you just get to payments you just pay as you can see and then they will ship it you can choose different types of shipping that you want whether you want next day that one obviously will be more expensive but i'll just choose the regular shipping seeing as you know i'm not in, too much in a rush you know it's good i know it's going to come this week so i'll i'll keep you guys updated when it gets here my delivery arrived a few days after to my front door like i said and here is the unboxing process hi guys <laughs> your girl has her Please. oh how, how much this weighs feels so heavy oh no wow <laughs> man anyway i think it's because of my boxes that are in there my bag of rice my indomie my mm, mm, mm. anyway that's a box um this took about one week to come um, because one of my items, my Indomie, was not available. Like, it usually would arrive. I rang them and I was like, this is unacceptable. Like, this usually arrives like two days after I've placed the order to my front door. But I think when something is not available, it's probably beyond their control. Oh, okay. I actually bought something frozen. I never knew. Right, so I got um, this, which is, let me just check, I don't even know what it is. Hmm. I bought something and I don't know what it was, so let's find out. Oh, I bought a core, and I was still saying I did not buy any frozen thing. So this is a core, and it's still cold. So you can imagine, I don't know when they shipped it, but it's still cold. These are your ice packs that's packed in, it's packed in this nicely sealed so it keeps it nice and fresh <laughs> i got golden one as well as you saw um ooh, my bags so this is bag of pound do yam yam flour because the ones that they are making now are just hopeless i really like their branded their one like the spice up one so i quite like it so just so you know i didn't buy that much like you saw but you know that there's a variety of stuff on the website. This is Gary, Jevu Gary, 2.5 kg of Gary. This is 3 kg of Poundo. I also bought this bag of rice, which is why it's heavy. Ooh, 5 kg bag of rice. This is actually quite cool. It's a golden seller basmati, but it doesn't, it's not all those gummy gummy basmati. It's actually quite really good. You can find this in any other shop. I think I found it for one pound cheaper in the, in the Asian shops after I had placed my order. But I was like, it's fine, no problem. And then this is my chicken flavor Indomie, which is what I wanted to eat today. And I was like, I have to unbox this thing, you know, for you guys before I open and start taking stuff out. But as you can see, that's all I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six, seven items I got on the day. Um, just wanted to show you what the packaging and everything was like and what it feels like in the convenience of your home to actually just get some African food delivered to your front door without having to go the hustling and bustling of life. I'm hungry. See, I could not wait to unbox. I just I went to go and get food. This is, this is what I was trying to show you. So my vermicelli, my vermicelli noodles with some chicken and um, good meats. So yeah, well, it's, it's ram, well, sheep, <laughs> all the above, <laughs> the game. <laughs> this is good food. This is good food. <laughs> mm. Let me enjoy my food in peace. We've come to the end of this video, and I want to say thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this sort of content, unboxing, ordering food, taking you to the shops, whatever it is, do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel for more amazing, wholesome content. I actually got a, content, a comment mm, from someone recently saying my, my content is very wholesome. 
and we're in quite quality. I think that's those are the words. And I'm really grateful that it's you know having that effect. You know, it's, it's one thing to think that you have this effect on on the audience, but it's another thing for the audience to actually you know receive that effect. So thank you guys so much. Thank you to my 400 plus subscribers. We hit the milestone. Road to 500, road to 600, road to 1000. I am extremely grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please share with your friends, family. If they want to know the easy life of you know, African food to their door, let them know. Share this video now. Click on the like button, comment in the comment section, and take care. That's all I